Welcome to my PEP students, welcome to my subscribers, we're going to look at fractions. So each one of them is different, one is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Alright, so we know that maths is governed by a rule. Now the rule states once you're adding and subtracting, you must find the lowest common multiple. Right, so the lowest common multiple can obtain by adding 5 plus 5, 10. Final number that is common to both. So we have 6, 8, and 10. So our LCM would be 10. So what we do, we use 10 as our new denominator. Because the only way we can add fractions is if they have the same denominator. So this is what we do now. We find the same denominator for both of them. So 5 into 10, that goes 2 times. So we multiply by 2. And we'll do the same thing for this, 2 into 10, that goes 5 times, so we multiply by 5. Alright, to simplify, so 3 times 2, that is 6, plus 1 times 5, that is 5. And then, we have the same denominator now, so we can go ahead and add. So 6 plus 5 is 11 over 10. Or, we can say 10 into... 11 goes 1 time, that remains that 1 over 10. Alright, let's go to subtraction now. We have 3 quarters minus 1 third. Again, we find the lowest common multiple. So add 4 plus 4, that's 8 plus 12, 16. Start for 3 now. 3 plus that's 6, 9, 12. So our LCM would be 12. So what we do, we go ahead and use 12 as our LCM. Uh, we that. So 4 into 12, that goes 3 times. So we multiply the numerator by 3. So 3, 3 is 9. Put our subtraction sign. 3 into 12, that goes 4 times. So we multiply by 4. 1 times 4, which is 4. We go ahead now and subtract. 9 subtract that gives us 5 over 12 and that would be our answer all right so the rule is different when we are multiplying so we have two terms multiplied by rule state that we multiply numerator let's color code this it's numerator by numerator so it's two times one and we divide by the denominator now the denominator is three and five so we multiply that so we just simplify now, 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 fives 15, and that would be our answer. This was black, so we could keep it black, alright? Alright, let's look at division now. So we have 3 fifths divided by a half. The rule state that we write back the first fraction, but guess what? We're going to reciprocate. So we change the sign to multiplication. And we reciprocate. So 2 go up the top now. And 1. So now we can go back to this rule that we say numerator by numerator. And denominator by denominator. So that's 5 multiplied by 1. So 3 times 2 is 6 over 5. Or we can say 5 into 6, that goes 1 time, and remainder 1 over 5. So both of these are the answers. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This is the next minute, so come out, no doubt. See you guys in another video.